What's up everyone, it's Kyle from Color Expression, back with another swatch and review. If you hadn't heard recently, Live Love Polish, which was an independent nail polish brand. I only talked about them once on the channel, which I will link that video up above if you want to give it a watch. But recently they rebranded into Mooncat, so they brought over their really good formula and came out with a new collection and a limited edition shade, and those are what we're going to look at today. Obviously you may not know much about Mooncat, but they are an independent nail polish brand that is based out of the USA. They are vegan and cruelty free, and they don't really market themselves as a specific number free from harmful chemicals usually found in nail polish, but from the reading I did, they don't include any of the big harmful ones, so in my opinion, we are looking good there. Disclaimer, I did my own research and I'm not a scientist, so I don't really know. If you're new here and you enjoyed this video today, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos, but I've literally been so excited to show this polish to you. Let's just get into these swatches. Real quick, I wanted to show off the box, which you can see we get that Mooncat branding and it's just so beautiful and feels really premium, which I loved. And then I loved that opening it up, we get that logo inside too. I thought that was so cute. But you can see the bottle, we have this pretty unique shape and then the cap is actually a gemstone rock crystal kind of shape and at first I was like is that gonna be easy to use is that gonna cause any issues like applying the polish but I honestly really enjoyed using it I felt that having those edges to grip onto during application was a big help and before we start applying these polishes we are going to put on a base coat and today I am using my Orly Bonder base coat First up, we will look at the limited edition shade, which is called Live Love Transform. And like I mentioned before, Mooncat is a rebrand of a previous brand called Live Love Polish. So they released this shade alongside their announcement as they're like, hey, this is us now. We transformed. We went through a metamorphosis and we are here and new and improved. So this one is a purple jelly base that has this really beautiful amber shimmer in it. And then we also get these blue flakies that shift over to shades of purple and teal and I think that they're so beautiful on their own but combined with this base color and that shimmer I'm just totally obsessed with this combo I think this polish is so beautiful I liked it built up in three coats which is what you see in this video but I just think that finished effect we get that beautiful purple base and then all this kind of shimmer and just these things like reflecting all the light I just think it's so beautiful and personally, I think adding a hollow top coat to this one, which we will look at one in this video, but adding hollow over this just makes it, oof, it makes it perfect. And this one is limited edition, like I said. So if you like this shade, definitely go over to the Mooncat site, which I will link down below and purchase this one for yourself. Moving on to the Ode to Luna collection, which was the Mooncat launch collection, we will start off with Blood Moon. So this one is a linear holographic shade that also has a red shimmer packed into this polish. And then the cool thing is that red shimmer shifts over to a sort of golden, like a bronzy golden color at extreme angles. So we get a little bit of color shifting going on and you can see the linear holographic pigment is just packed into this polish. They put so much hollow in here. It's so stunning. And I loved this one in two coats that gave me full great opacity. You can see once it starts to dry down, that hollow just pops and shines and is so spectacular and full of rainbows and just absolutely gorgeous. I think that linear hollows that have an additional finish like this, something about them, I just, I love when there's linear hollow plus something else. It just, it, it melts my heart. So I'm a huge fan of this shade, but let me know what you guys think of this one down below. Next up, we will look at the dark side, which is probably the one that I was most excited to receive when I placed this order. I love this metallic finish ever since the Hollow Taco Remix collection. When they had that kind of black metallic polish, I was like, this is so cool. This is so beautiful. And then Frozen Bananas came out and I was like, wow, I love metallic polishes with hollow. And then Mooncat was like, I'm going to combine your two favorite things and take 
that black metallic polish and put hollow in it. So I am blown away by this one. I am so obsessed. I found that two coats was perfect coverage. I loved how this one looked in those two coats. We get something so shiny and it's hollow and rainbowy and glossy and beautiful. And I could talk about this one for 10 minutes. I think that this polish is so stunning and I definitely recommend if you missed out on any of those remix polishes, this is the perfect replacement for that. This polish is insanely gorgeous. <laughs> Next, we will look at Celine, which is the first of two magnetic polishes that came out in this collection. So this one is, I would say, the kind of pinky purple magnetic of the two. This one looks very different on this first coat application than when it does on the finished nail. You'll see once we put the magnet on. But I did do one non-magnetized coat just to build up the opacity a little bit. And then I came in with a slightly thicker second coat just to make sure I had a lot of that yummy magnetic pigment on the nail and then when I came in with that magnet which I did leave there for 30 seconds even though I cut it out but you can see once we apply that magnet all that kind of silver pigment goes to wherever you had the magnet and then what's left in the other spots is this beautiful purpley magenta like glittery effect I don't know it is so beautiful and it looks so different than it did in the bottle and then you have all that hollow glitter in here too which just adds the spectacular spectacular show of rainbows at every different angle and I totally love this shade. I think that for magnetic this is literally galaxy in a bottle. It's so beautiful. And now for another galaxy in a bottle, we have Apollo, which you can see already this one gives off a much more blue vibe than the last one. So they're pretty much the same formula, I would say, but we kind of just get that different finished color in the end. So we're going to do our first coat again without the magnet just to build up that opacity, which by the way, I do think that both of these look beautiful without the magnet. So if you like them like that, they're totally still like really pretty that way, but we are going to do the second second coat with the magnet and you can see I am just again doing it a little bit thicker than normal because we want a lot of that magnetic pigment. I want that magnetic line to look good and strong and beautiful and you can see that once we do that we get this really pretty kind of blurple outline around those magnetic lines which almost have a slight duochrome between like silver and purple. I don't know. This one is very shifty, very transformative and I think in all different sorts of lightings you're going to love how your nails look with this polish on. I think that this one just, they knocked it out of the park with both of these magnetics, literally. Like, they're so pretty. And to round out the collection, we will look at a holographic top coat, which is Moon Dust. So this is a scattered holographic top coat, and I really love this because they actually included... I think at least two sizes of hollow glitters in here. So you can see we get these really, really small little hollow flecks, and then we get some slightly bigger ones. So I love that we have that variety. I think it gives such a pretty finished effect on the nail. It's not just like the same hollow top coat that you usually see. We do get some like uniqueness with this one, which I really appreciated. And I'm always down for another hollow top coat. And this is the one I used over Live Love Transform, and I actually put it over Celine too on my nail right now and I'm obsessed. It just adds such a beautiful dimension to whatever you put it over and I 100% recommend this one if you don't already have a hollow top coat. This is like the perfect one to add to your collection. I'm so excited that Mooncat came into existence and created this new collection and I'm really excited to see what the future holds for them. I'm really impressed by their formula and the brush and just their packaging and everything is so cool so I can't wait to see what they continue to come up with in the future. Now that we've seen all the swatches in this video today, let me know in a comment down below which one was your favorite and did you purchase any of these or do you think you're going to now that you saw them in action? Mooncat brought over quite a few of their previous shades from Live Love Polish, so also let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing some of those swatch interviewed. I saw they have a black cream, and if it's anything like the formulas I used in this video today, I'm going to love that, so let me know if that's something that you guys are interested in seeing on the channel. While you're down there, you should give this video a like, and don't forget to make sure that your notifications are turned on so on Thursday, you can come and join the live chat and hang out while we watch the next iteration in the throwback series. But that's going to be it for this one today. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I have one video, which I will link up above, but wait, which I will link...
Is that where it would link to? <laughs> link up above. Because if I'm looking at the thing, then it would be link up above. Is that right? <laughs> link up above. <laughs> uh.